Hello, this is Katie from Vintage and Vinyls. I'll be spinning some rockin' 50s records every week here on my channel, as well as showing you some cool Coca-Cola collectibles and other neat vintage finds. Stay tuned. Hey guys, this is Katie with Vintage and Vinyls, back with another great video for you today. I thought that I would share some of my bottles with you. I, I feel like that would be an interesting video. Now, disclaimer here, I don't know a lot about bottles. I am nowhere near um, at expert level. My cousin is though, however, she's collected over 300 bottles and I kind of consider her to be the authority when it comes to this stuff. And she was kind enough to recommend some books for me that I have been uh, studying and reading. And uh, the first book is Bottles here. And this is a really, really interesting book. The first part talks about marks um, and lips on the bottles and the different kinds, the seams um, and all of that. And then the inside just has different categories with bottles. Like this one's just milk, this whole section. The next book she recommended is Koval's Bottles, 12th edition. And this one does have a few colored pictures on the inside. Uh, not very many, but it does have some. And it ranges in all different categories from medicine to milk to ink um, and bitters. It is a really, really helpful book. So I'm gonna use some of these books today to show you um, a few things when we're looking at the different bottles. So that kind of helps you um, when you're identifying bottles in the future. I have a wide variety of colors. Um, I'm drawn to the dark green glass, amber, clear, and blue. Those are my favorite colors to collect and I have them styled in sort of different vignettes around my home. So the first bottle I wanna share with you is the Haberman and Company, the chemist shop, 1259 Broadway near 31st Street, New York City. And this is a four-sided square bottle and um, it has some markings on the bottom, but they, they are really hard to read. This one says W and something, and then it says and USA. And uh, this is a really cool bottle because of all the embossing. And that is one way you can tell if a bottle is older, is if it is embossed and if it has a glass stopper, or at one point it had maybe a cork stopper, that definitely means that it's older. You can also tell by the seam. So the seam here of the bottle goes um, all the way up to the neck of the bottle. And if seams are halfway up the bottle like this, that means that they are older. If they go all the way up, they're a little bit newer, but not too much. And I'll show you that right now in this book here, this bottle book. They talk about the seams and that is really, really helpful when identifying bottles because these were made by molds. So mold seams. This is bottle is before 1860. And you can see the different mold seams here. Um, and then you also want to identify the top of the bottle and what kind of lip it has. Because in these books, when you're looking up the bottle, there might be several Hammerman and Company bottles and they might have all different designs and styles and colors. So those are some things you wanna know when you're looking up the bottle. And this one, I think, has a tooled flange with flat top and square edges. So number two is the style that most resembles this bottle, I think. And I, I think this glass is amazing. And I have it by a window, so when the light comes in, it's just really, really lovely. So that's a cool bottle. And I, and I do think that this was a medicine bottle of some kind. Um, I have not found some of these in the books because a lot of them just don't have markings for me to be able to really identify what they are. This one I couldn't find, but I am looking it up online to see if I can get any more information about it. The next bottle I want to share with you is in the book, and this one is Bromer Seltzer Emerson Drug Company, Baltimore, Maryland. And this bottle is really common. You see these in antique stores a lot. It is embossed, just a really, really cool cobalt blue. And the bottom says number 12. 
And this one has a different lip on it. This is a uh, tooled lip with a rounded rolled over collar. So it most resembles number one in this book. And it's, I found this in the Koval's bottle book. So it is in here listed under medicine. So in this book, you wanna to go to the medicine section and then you want to look alphabetically by the name of the bottle or the company on the bottle. And this one is Bromo Seltzer. Now there are two. This one here is the one that's embossed and it says Emerson Drug Company Cobalt Embossed 4 inch. And these do come in different sizes. I've seen a larger one and a smaller one. So they do come, I think this is the medium sized one, but they do come in different sizes. And this one I'll show you in the book is listed and they price it at $7. So it's a relatively inexpensive bottle to start with if you're wanting to get your bottle collection started. So that is the Emerson Drug Company bottle. The next bottle here has the rounded tool lip and it has no markings on it other than it does have a C on the bottom but this was definitely in the ground for a while. You can see that it has sort of that iridescent seashell um, effect is the best way I can describe it. When bottles are, are underground for a long time, something in the soil sometimes changes their color. So that's why you see a lot of Coca-Cola bottles that were clear at one point turn either like a brown or a purple. So that's really cool. This is just, I, I'm assuming a little medicine bottle um, and it is older. It doesn't have um, the glass top, but I'm sure at one point it did, but just a really neat, cool blue bottle. The last of the blue section is actually more of a jar but I'm assuming that this is an apothecary jar. It's a seven, excuse me, sided apothecary jar. And it's blue and it has this really neat older blue top, but it's so rusted, I can't really read what that says. Now the bottom has a cool mark. It's a square or more of a, like a rectangle with a number one and then a line. And then it says MA and number 15. So that is cool. I'll have to look this up online or in one of the books, they do have a jar section, but I'm not gonna look it up on camera because that would take me forever to sift through. These books are pretty big, but I just wanted to use them to give you a few examples of um, things that you can find in the books. So let's move on to the green section now, and I'm gonna show you my favorite of the green bottles I have. This one is an eyedropper bottle because it has this dropper and um, it came in a green, um, like tall, um, like paper case uh, when I got it. And the bottom sort of looks like a set of lips, which is really cool. And it has this old paper label that says HB Instrument and Company, Philadelphia on the front and on the bottom it says 1950 so I'm assuming that's when this was made and uh, it says that it was made in the USA and that it has a flag and that it has P on it so that is really cool I love this bottle and again I got this just in the antique store you can find these um, relatively easily now obviously some bottles if they're more expensive, uh, usually means they're rare or harder to find or a unique label, or they didn't put out a lot of those bottles. So that's where these books will really, really help you identify uh, some of those more rare and expensive bottles too. So cool bottle. Uh, the next of the green is one that actually is a stopper. And I don't know much about this, but it, it has the, the tooled lip and it does have the glass stopper. And this one is C and Company on the front. And on the bottom, it just has some lines in the glass. And I don't know if that's a mark or if it's an accident that happened, but it has this kind of cool um, eye-shaped stopper. Um, 
and it's a beautiful, beautiful kind of flared bottle. So I love it. This bottle here is cool. It has um, six sides, which means, you know, it has these little, I don't know if you'd call them like indents or ribs in the bottle, but this one is a squib bottle. It does have a screw top and the screw top says LP and company on the top. And I'm sure that this was in the ground for a while because it is pretty dirty. And the bottom says bottle made in USA with a circle around it. And the seam goes all the way up to the top, but it does have a screw top. So that means that it is newer, a little bit newer. You know, I wouldn't say like today's age, but um, it is newer. So this is a cool, cool bottle. I love the embossing though for the squib right here. A, and this bottle's different because it is embossed, but it does have the screw top. The last of the bottles, I don't know what at all this was used for. My guess is maybe medicine, but it's just such a small, cute little bottle. And the bottom has this sort of ribbed texture and it looks like it has a two, a one, and a seven going around a mark that sort of is shaped like um, Saturn, because it does, it looks like Saturn. It has rings going around the circle, but I'm sure that's not what it is. And it has the screw top. I'm not really sure. Um, I got this in an architectural salvage yard for $2, but I just think the little bottle's so adorable. And I love that green color, really cool. Now, the next set of bottles I have to share with you have a unique story. And these bottles actually belonged to my great grandfather's cousin's husband. She, um, her husband, I mean, was actually a pharmacist and somehow these bottles got saved. So they're well over a hundred years old and it's really, really amazing. They have all the original glass stoppers and I just am in love with them. They range from amber to clear. So I'm gonna show you the first amber bottle here. It's really big and the seam ends right up at the neck and it has a flared top and this really cool glass stopper here. Uh, it has a kind of eye-shaped mark and I don't know if that means that it was an accident like you know when you when you were blowing the glass or if that really is a mark of some kind but the bottom says 12 and 35 and these were actually in his pharmacy. So I'm not sure what they they carried, but aren't these just amazing? They're so cool. Um, this bottle here has more of a rounded stopper and it has a tooled lip that's round. And the bottom says PO and company number seven and the seam does stop right up at the neck, but it's just a cute little, little bottle and beautiful. I love this amber color. It's just amazing. I mean, to think that these survived that long is just incredible. This one is a square bottle and uh, the mold or the seam does stop right up at the neck. And this one is the tool blip and on the bottom, it is really interesting. It says S and D, and then it says six and a half. So I'm not really sure what the six and a half is for. Maybe the size of the bottle would be my guess. And then it has this flat stopper. Now, I want to mention uh, something really quickly about the stopper is in this book here, it talks about the stoppers. And if they're flat, and kind of round like this. These are from the 1850s to the 1900s, which would be probably right for the date on this bottle because of uh, the family history that I know about them. So that's really, really cool. I, I love, I'm so glad that I have these. I just love these. The next bottle is a glass bottle with the original paper label and it came from the pharmacy. It's got this flat top and then the top has holes 
like these holes. It looks like almost a glass flower frog. Really, really cool. And then it has this, this flat uh, kind of wide mouth lipped lip on it, but it's a Unicat multivitamins <laughs> glass bottle. And on the back, the paper label is still there and it says what's in it. So it has vitamin A, D, uh, zorbic acid, thiamine, riboflavin, which is B2, and then it has B6, calcium pentanate, and it has nicotinamide and vitamin B12 for activity, it says. And then folic acid, and then it says one unit cap daily or as directed by physician. Store in a cool place, 1955. The Up Hoen Company, Kalamazoo, Michigan. So that's a cool, cool bottle. One of my favorites. And then the last bottle I have to share with you actually didn't come from the pharmacy. I got it uh, in a series of bottles that I was getting um, for a Coca-Cola uh, carbonation tester, which I shared in another video. But I have the kit and a few of the glass beakers broke when it came in the mail from the eBay seller. So I actually was able to buy the exact same ones. And this came in the lot. And this is a Pyrex bottle. Um, I don't know if this was used in a pharmacy or in a lab of some kind, but it has this tooled rounded lip. The seam does go up to the neck. And then the bottom says WT and Company 41. And it has this really heavy Pyrex glass um, stopper. And on the other side, it says T and S38. So really amazing bottle here. And I love when bottles have these little... Um, like bubbles. I just, I know that they're not supposed to be in there, but they're so cool. Really, really cool. Well, that is all the bottles I have to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed seeing my collection. And if you guys want to add anything down below, you know something about these bottles that I don't, please feel free to comment. I hope you guys have a great day. Please stay in, stay safe, and binge YouTube.